In this video, I'll show you guys how to import custom songs in Apple Music. As you can see, I've imported five right here, but anyways, let's just get right into it. First thing you're gonna do is make sure you have iTunes installed on your Windows and Mac. It's pretty simple. Or Windows and Mac, so your Windows or Mac. Uh, if you have a Windows PC, you should see iTunes for Windows. Just head over to iTunes.com. It should redirect to apple.com slash iTunes. And you're gonna just press get it from Microsoft. And if you have a Mac, I don't know how it works, but it should say like get it from wherever. After you've installed iTunes, you can go over to your playlist and you can create a new playlist called Custom Songs or Imported Songs or whatever you want to call it. And it should be empty for now, but what you're going to do is find any song that you want to add. It can be on YouTube or if you already have audio files on your computer, then you can just use those. So you're just going to want to head over to the song that you're trying to add if you're getting it from YouTube. So I would go over here because I don't like Chris Brown's part in Superhero, so this song kind of just cuts it off. Just ends the song. I'm not gonna play out the whole thing because you know copyright will get demonetized. But anyway, what you're gonna do is just copy this URL, and there's a website where you can download MP3s. Like it's called like YouTube to MP3, but I'll link it in the description. So this is the website. There's probably other websites out there, but this one's worked the best for me. There's probably gonna be ads and stuff, but you're just gonna go ahead and put the uh, URL and press convert. It'll take a second. That's like about I would say like 20 seconds at most. But what you're gonna do is head over to MP3. It should be you should see 320 kilobytes per second or kilobits, sorry. And you're gonna go over to press download. And I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna be doing this. But what you're gonna do is go over to the downloaded downloaded file. I accidentally paused it. So right here, you can see. Okay, well this is a different song. Okay, so sorry about that. Sorry about that. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find the file on your computer and you're just gonna drag it in just like this. Now this isn't all, but as you can see, it already has all that filled out because I've already filled out all like the information for the song. If you were to just try to import it, it would just show like a downloaded file name. It would just be like some stupid file name, but I'm going to re-download it right now and I'm going to show you guys how to like customize it so it actually like looks good in Apple Music instead of just being like this uh, coverless song that looks like trash. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. And I'm going to go over to my downloads. And here's the song that it downloads. So this is what you guys should say. I just go ahead and press remove from iCloud. That's because it doesn't have enough information for it to go onto iCloud. So this is like why you guys need to fill out the information. So you're just going to right click. You should see song info right here. And then you're going to go over here. You just fill out the song's information. So I'll just put superhero. Just like the actual song. Heroes and villains. And then, so this part's pretty self-explanatory, but you can just go ahead and fill out all this information down here. I'm just going to do that real quick. All right, so I filled out all the information here. Let me just add, like, Metro Group in the future here again. So the next step that you're going to do is just head over to Artwork, and you can add a cover to it. So I'm just going to head press Add Artwork, and it'll show your file explorer. You're just going to choose any file that you would like to make the uh, album cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Heroes and Villains. As you can see, the album artwork appears here. And then for lyrics, you would just search up like superhero lyrics, whatever song you're trying to add, and you just copy and paste them in here so the lyrics will appear in Apple Music. The only issue with this is that you can't have synced lyrics. That's not possible yet. Hopefully they'll add it in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and look up the lyrics and paste it in here. All right, so I pulled up the lyrics. Obviously, no one likes this part, so I'm just going to copy everything above there, just like this. And then, oops, wrong tab. Oops, 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 got to go here. All right, let's go ahead and paste those lyrics in. Press OK, and boom, your song is on there. And if I try to drag it into the playlist, it, into the playlist, it shouldn't shit. It should not. Oh my God, I'm stuttering so much right now. It shouldn't say that it will be removed from iCloud. So if I put it into Maddox's playlist, see, it doesn't say anything. And I will put a screenshot, probably like right here or something, or showing that like it's working, I guess. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot to mention. If if you want a song to end earlier, then it actually ends. You can just like notice how the song ends like a second earlier. There's just five seconds of nothingness after this. So what I'm going to do to fix this is right click song info options and you can set stop to wherever you want the song to start at. So it stops at like 220. So I'll just make it like one second after. So as you can see the song shorter now and it should end as soon as the actual song ends. Okay, well I was two seconds off, but you guys should understand from that. But anyway, anyway you can do the same thing for the beginning of the song. If the beginning like has like extra time you can make it start at like five seconds and but anyway anyway thank you guys so much for watching like subscribe uh it's free all right bye